Hi and welcome. Welcome to Soul Infused Monday, a new episode of Soul Infused Monday every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific time and 12 p.m. Eastern time. Today I am still in the Dominican Republic, so I'm hosting it from a different island. And I want to ask you something. Regardless if you are live here right now or if you are watching the replay, leave a comment below, say hello, send me some love and let me know that you are here, okay? Even if you watch the replay, because I always go back, check all my comments, I respond to you personally. So take that moment of posting your name, say hello, that you're here, so that I know who's watching. Okay. And have you ever felt, or have you ever thought something like, is this all there is? There has to be more than this. There's more to life than what I experience. Have you ever had that thought? Have you ever felt that way? Maybe for you it's a relationship that's not fulfilling or that's not nurturing you or that you feel like you're not as connected as you want it to be. Maybe it's a job or a new career that you know it doesn't really fit for who you are. Maybe, maybe it's a health issue or maybe it's just your own inner battle of self-judgment, of lack of self-worth, not feeling that you're fully empowered and embracing who you are in this world and to express yourself fully. Anything, I it's an area in your life where you feel right now that you want to break free, but you don't know how. And I'm asking this because can you believe that this is, that we are already reaching or heading towards the end of the year. I mean, I can't believe it. Next week is already December. Like, where did this, ha how did this happen, right? So, we are approaching the end of the year. And often this time of the year, it's a good way of reflecting back. What is it that I wanted? Where am I today? What am I heading at? What's the new chapter in my life? So, this is truly your time. I mean... This is your time to dig deep and check those places of what is it that I really want, how can I get there, and to break free to make that happen for you. So today I'm going to share with you three things that are going to help you to create success. And when I mean success, I mean whatever it is that you desire. Then also, um, sorry, I have something in my eye. What, what you need for having results that last. Not only some quick fix, like how, how to make it happen to have long-lasting results. And then also one of the keys for inner peace and freedom. So all of that related, I'm going to share with you today. Stay until the end of the show because you're going to also have the opportunity to actually win a coaching call with me if this resonates with you. And um, I'm going to tell you how that works at the end. Okay, so let's get started. Um, and if you have questions, leave a comment below now. Say hello. Um, let me open here my, my screen so that I see your comments as well. Okay. And regardless if you watch the replay, say hello. Leave a comment. So use the opportunity, especially when you're live, because most people don't make it live. A lot of people watch the replay. So if you're live here, you get actually live coaching from me. So if there's one burning question in your life, you can ask me today. And within the next 15 minutes, I will do my best to actually answer that. So why would you not take that opportunity, right? Okay. So three things that will create success with what you actually you want to create. So, and funny enough, that's the number one thing already. So one thing that's super important in order for you to create success in the area that you're looking for at is that you are actually clear and you have a vision for what it is that you want and it might sound yeah Sonia that's really easy I mean or simple of course I need to know what I want right however eight out of ten people that I talk to and I talk to a lot of people and I've talked to hundreds of people in the last couple of years the one thing that I keep seeing is that people are not clear on what it is that they want and I help them and guide them through to create that vision because if you don't have a vision, if you, if you are not clear on what it is that you want, you are not going to be successful with it because you don't even know how to get there. Does that make sense? So if you, and I, I, 
I shared that example before, but I, I still love it. Like if you go to the airport and you go to the counter and said, hey, I want to go somewhere. It's like, where, where do you want to go? Well, I don't know, but I don't like where I am now. You know, I don't like this and it's too hot here and, and too dark and, and I just don't want to be here. And he said, okay, well, why do you want to go? Yeah, I don't know. So that person on the ticket counter is not going to be able to show you the pathway to go to that place where you want to go because you don't know. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so number one, become clear and have a clear vision, something that touches you deeply, that's deeply important to you. I want to make an example here. Maybe you first come up with, what is it that I want? I want to have a husband, or I want to have more money, whatever it is. But dig deeper. Why is that important to you? Because it's not about the thing or the person. It's like, how does it make you feel? Why is it important to you? For example, if it would be, hey, I want to have more money. It's like, what would you do with it? What's the experience that you want to have? So as well with, and this is only two examples, just to make a point. Or when you say, hey, I want to find the love of my life. Okay, good. So why is that important to you? What's underneath? Maybe underneath you want to feel loved. You want to feel connected. You want to share. Do you feel the difference? So be very clear. Um... The second thing, it's super important, and you can actually do that first, however it's more helpful when you, it doesn't really matter, you can mix them up, is that you make a decision and that you commit to make this happen for you no matter what. And why is that important? If you don't have a this commitment, or if you don't make the decision to really move along with it, you will you know, when you hit an obstacle or something is not so easy anymore, if you're not really be guided by your vision, by your passion, by something that you truly desire, you won't have the motivation or maybe the perseverance or whatever it takes to move along with it. Does it make sense? Hi, Erica. I love you too. Um, and let me know if you got my emails. I somehow had problems with emails and I'm not so sure. So it's just because I see you here right now. Kelly, hi Kelly, wonderful. So, be clear on what it is that you want and make a decision and commitment. That's super, super important. Like that will get you anywhere, okay? Let me give you an example from my life. And you know that story maybe, but 20 years ago when I was in Thailand on that beach in my bathing suit, Having that moment of, you know, my boyfriend over there, me being here, watching the palm trees, the ocean, the sand, thinking this would be the most beautiful day in my life and the most romantic, and it was the worst because I really realized in that moment how bad I was feeling inside, how unhappy I was inside, even though I had this beautiful vacation and I had this man that was adoring me and I had a great business, I felt empty inside, I felt unhappy. In that moment, that's where I made that decision. That was my turning point when I was sitting there and I said to myself, I'm going to do whatever it takes to love myself. I'm going to do whatever it takes to love myself. That was for me that turning point. And for you it might be something different, but you get to get to that point where no matter what comes in your way, doubt, fear, resistance, um, health issues, financial issues, it doesn't matter what, you just keep going, you just keep going, okay, that's the second thing. The third thing, um, and that makes total sense, and you, you might, might know that, I mean, you know everything I'm sharing right now, but the third thing is that you really ask for help, or you find a community to support you. What I've been seeing over the years with myself, obviously, I don't share anything that doesn't apply to my own personal experience and to the hundreds of clients that I had over time, is that when we really want to break free out of something, out of our comfort zone, something that challenges us to face, that we usually can't do it ourselves. Otherwise, we would have done it a long time ago. And there's nothing wrong with asking for some help because the best of the best anywhere in in business, in sports, um, if it's in inner work, it doesn't matter. They're always, the top people always have a coach, they always have mentors, 
because they understand that we are very limited to our own fears and insecurity and resistance. All right, I didn't get your email. Okay, thank you, Erica. Does that make sense? Is this helpful? Do you have any questions? Okay, these are the three things that will get you to have success. And, and let me be really real here. You might think, oh yeah, this, you know, I, I, I'm not clear on what I want. Um, well, maybe, maybe something happens in my life and I can't do it. It's e it sounds easy, but it's not. If you commit, if you're clear on what you want, and if you commit to it, to do whatever it takes, you will never give up. That's the point. You might not succeed overnight, most likely not. Um, and it will not always only be easy, but there is no such thing like failing. The only thing is quitting. And then if you do have support around it, you will always have someone that will help you through those faces when it gets actually really challenging, okay? So these three things are needed. And when I say ask for help, it could be a coach, it could be um, a support group, it could be a group coaching program. The fastest results I see is when people really work one-on-one -on -one with someone, and that one could be me, but I'm not attached to it, so I'm not sharing this so that you uh, want to work with me. It's about understanding that if you really have the desire to create something meaningful in your life, that you are ready for a new chapter in your life and you really want to break free, then we usually can't do it ourselves. Okay, great. Wonderful. So, um, what else did I want to share with you guys? Um, oh yeah. In order to have lasting results, and today I'm very practical, you know, like I just want to give you some perspective because often we are overcomplicating things, we get stuck in things, and um, to just make it simple, okay? In order to have lasting results, because let's be real, you will always have results if you work on it. You will always have results if you don't quit. You will always have results, okay? At the same time, you don't want to just have a quick fix or quick change, you want to have lasting results. And I love, I love uh, to bring that example about brushing teeth, right? Like, just because you brush your teeth once and they're nice and clean, and you did it like for a week, for a year, or for 10 years, you don't just stop doing it, right? Because, oh, they were clean last Saturday, so I don't need to do anything about it anymore. So the same thing is with your inner peace, your inner happiness. Consistency is the key. Consistency is what creates long-lasting results when you stay committed and consistent on doing everything one little piece. And it doesn't mean that you have to do like three hours of yoga and two hours of meditation every day and three sessions a week. It means that you have a ritual, a routine, you work on your thing supported by either um, a meditation routine, or something that works for you. But consistency, every day, one small little thing will take you much further than once a week something for an hour. Okay? Okay, is this, is this helpful? Does this make sense? Like, let me know. Share with me. Um, I always love to hear from you anyway. So send me some love. I always see it passing by here. I love that. So if you love me, love me. <laughs> uh, I'm just as you. I love to be... Uh, connected and um, to get some loving hearts. Okay, so, and one of, when I said the key to inner peace and freedom, of course there's not only one key, however I wanna, I wanna uh, share one key I think that's so, so crucial. Yes, okay, good. When it comes to us having that inner peace of knowing who we are, the, the um, perseverance of keep going no matter what um, in order to have all of that one thing that really will get you anywhere is trust and I think I shared that last week I don't remember which one uh, which show that was when I shared about how to actually have unshakable trust because that will get you through everything through everything like I shared, you know, when I went through the hurricane and I left my island and I have kind of been homeless since then, here and there and traveling. 
and went through a lot of a lot of um, issues myself. And you I don't want to repeat that. You can watch uh, last week's show. But the one thing, that one thing that was so deep was that unshakable trust that I knew exactly who I was, that I was on the right path, that everything was happening to me, even though it was super painful. So you want to create that inside, that trusting yourself, trusting your higher guidance, because that will make you create and keep whatever it is that you want to create. Okay, fantastic. Hi Amanda, hi Gwen, fantastic. Yeah, I love having you here. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so it goes towards the end of the year. It, I always say it doesn't really matter. Like every day is a precious day. Every day is your time. And if there's one, something that's holding you back, don't hesitate to ask for help. Go out, be brave, be courageous. And if you are ready for a new chapter in your life, if you really feel like, yes, Sonia, this resonates with me. I feel this more. I want to break free. I don't know how. Maybe you're not even clear on what it is that you want. And you want some help. I will offer you to talk to you. Now, I can obviously not talk to everyone. So I'm going to leave um, a link here where you can apply for a call so that I can help you take your next step. So this is for you if you are at the time of your life when you feel you have something you want to have something to work towards like you want to have a, a feeling an idea you don't have to have it very clear but you have a vision some sort of a vision and you've worked towards it and you feel stuck and you feel ready you feel ready this is my time i don't want to hold back anymore i'm not hiding anymore i know there's fear and insecurities i know i have to face things and i'm ready i'm really ready and you resonate to work with me then apply to one of the sessions out of all, of all of the applications, I will choose three people and I'm going to offer you to work with me privately. So I don't even know where I put that link. I'll put it later in the comment, uh, comment section. Okay. A few more minutes. Any questions? <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Love your heart. Yes. For those who are watching live or if you're watching the replay, Share with me what's the most valuable thing that you're getting out of this show today. It's just very simple. You don't have to, you know, don't overcomplicate it. What is the most valuable thing that you are taking home with you today? Could be one word, could be one sentence. And I'm asking you also this, the more you show up, the more you express, the more you put it out in the universe and the more you will create it. So don't be shy, don't hide. Just leave one comment here right now with one word or one sentence. It's one simple step right now to share. What is it that you want to create? What makes your heart sing? Like, and I want to share one brief story about um, one of my clients that when she started working with me, she barely couldn't say anything that was challenging to her, like something that she had a fear to upset someone. She was very afraid of hurting people. She was very afraid of being judged. She was very afraid of being rejected, especially in her relationship. And when she was angry, she always swallowed it down. She swallowed it down, she swallowed it down. She was so shy, but she was getting sick. So after working with me for a while, for the first time, she actually it was so amazing. She uh, she stood up to one of her colleagues at work, and she, for the first time in her life, she really spoke up and said, "I don't want to go into details, but basically that this didn't work for her, that she doesn't want to do it anymore, and that she's not a doormat or something like really, really fantastic." And she came back. She was so excited. She was so she felt so empowered, and. It gave her so much more freedom to express herself versus taking it in and becoming sick. And on the contrary of our fears, people respect her now way more in her environment than ever before. So that's just one small example. So I'm going to jump off here. Um, so Amanda is sharing the, realis the realization. That's a difficult word for me that it's time to really change my love, love me. Perfect, Amanda. Okay, 
So you share it and you are from England. I love that. Just by you sharing it, you put energy out there already. Take a step. I even, I, um, I recommend you to apply for a session with me and see if I can help you take one step further. I need help is my sentence. Okay. Yes. I, Erica, love it. Yes. And you know that. I mean, you know, I know you. You know, I know you. You know. You just have to get to the point where you do whatever it takes and you let fear on the side. When you're ready, you know where to find me. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Have a fantastic rest of your Monday. If this was valuable, please share it. Tag a friend. Leave a comment below. And come back next Sunday. Uh, no, Sunday. Don't come back next Sunday. I won't be here. Um, I'm going to be back home in the Turks and Caicos next Monday. And I'm going to host it from there. So I would be super excited to be there live with you. Much love, everybody. Have a fantastic day.